You're in good hands here. Fine, Doctor, just give me something. Give me something for this pain. Listen, take it easy. Has your water broken? I don't know, no, Doctor. I, it hasn't broken. Thank you. Has she? Stop it. Just give me something, Doctor. Give me a painkiller because I'm exploding from all this pain. Excuse her, Doctor. She's just nervous and very scared. Listen, don't worry about it. How long has she had these contractions? I don't know exactly. I found her like this, so I brought her straight here. Annabelle, prepare the delivery room. Marguerite is having this baby. Doctor. Right away, Doctor. She was being treated by another doctor in this clinic, but she wasn't expecting to have the baby so soon. Are you sure? I treated her before. Pretty sure. I'll go and get her doctor, okay? Okay, thanks. Oh, Mara, help me, please, help me! Perdona si te estoy llamando en este momento Pero me hacía falta escuchar de nuevo Aunque sea un instante this doesn't make sense, Sylvia. You're an extremely rational woman. You can't possibly believe that absurd story, for God's sake. I believe it because I feel it. Jaime Contreras has no reason to be doing this for us. Can't you accept that he's doing it because he's a good man? Everybody. Everybody's generous, Lisa. Charity's done for one day. That's all. Then it's back to normal. That man is being hurt by us. Don't you understand that? Sylvia, stop. That's enough, okay? Yes. Go on, ask her! What is it? What are you talking about? She has to know the truth. Tell her, come on, you tell her. I don't get you. Uh, she's very sensitive. Excuse her, Senor Delia. She, uh... She thinks that Dr. Contreras worries about... about the four of us because... Uh, because he's our father. Come on, Delia. Well, is it true that Dr. Contreras had children? Yes, he had children. I never met them. And does that mean that you don't know who they are? I didn't know about them for some time. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen photos? No. Do you know what happened to them? Sylvia, come on. That's none of your business. You have no right to, to ask Delia something like that. No, it's okay. It's okay, Lisa. Let her ask. If Sylvia wants to know about my husband, I'll tell her everything. Take a seat. I first met Jaime at a center for mentally ill people in another city. He was destroyed, all alone, and very sick. What'd he have? Alcohol destroyed him. When he arrived at the center, he didn't know his name. What happened? I approached him and saw great pain in his eyes. I felt like he was begging me to save him from the dark. So I dedicated myself to him and fell in love. And when Jaime recovered, I tried to make a life with him without a past, without questions. Did he ever talk about his past life? Just that he'd lost everything. Losing his children drove him to insanity. Ready, doctor. Did you verify his rate of respiration? Yes, it's well within limits, Doctor. Oh, that's good, Ruby. He'll be breathing normally in no time. I great, Doctor. I get so scared when he stops breathing. Periods of 30 seconds, but that's normal in a person with brain inflammation. So if God is good to us, then he'll wake up at any minute, right? Then the real work begins because that's when we'll know if there's been any serious brain damage. Do you mean there's a possibility his recovery won't be total? 
Well, we can hope. No, we just need patience. Is the process slow, Doctor? Just stay strong, Ruby. It's all right. Bring the therapist in here. I'll start his exercises. But I need him to come in here right away, okay? Yes, Doctor. Excuse me. Son, almost there now. I'll help you get better. I promise I'll never leave you. Augusto. She here? Who, Senora? Who else, Jairo? That girl, Isabel Mendez. Uh, no, she's not here. Well, then, when she arrives, ask her to come in. I have a feeling it's important. Why is that, Signora? I don't know, but I noticed something in her voice, like she was nervous. Besides, she said she was bringing important evidence for the case. Mm. Jairo, something's happened. I have a feeling something's happened. one that was following me before. Annabelle? Oh, he's following me. <sighs> hurry up, senor, hurry up. Open the door. Why are we here if Isabel's out? Mama, I know, I... What is it? It's gone. It's gone, that means that... You're fine. You're in labor. Very good. What can you see on my Very good. Don't uh -huh. worry, Margarita, because we're here to help you. So please, just calm down. All right? And how exactly are you going to help me? Will you take the pain in my place? No, right? Oh, I'm dying. You won't die, Margarita. Just calm down. Everything will be fine. I know this is your first time, but don't worry. You'll be fine. No. Hold on. No! Take it easy. Relax. Don't go! Hold on. What can I do, Margarita? You're in the middle of labor. You have to stay here in the clinic, okay? No, Omaira, please just help me. This doctor's crap, don't you understand? I want her to put me to sleep. I want her to operate. I don't want it to hurt. Oh, oh, Omaira! Omaira, please don't leave me! Omaira! Come on. Stop right don't. there. Let go of me, Annabelle. Let go of me. Let go. Where is she, Isabel? Huh? Where is my sister? Let go of me. Hmm? Let go of me. Let go of me, please. Where is she? Please. Excuse me. I wanted to know if Isabel's at your office. Sorry, who is this? It's Barbara Solis. I just need to know if Isabel's there. Please tell me if she's there right now. Barbara, before anything, I just need to tell you something. Your friend said that she was coming over here, but I haven't heard anything from her since then. Senora, I'm on my way over there, okay? Thank you. Let's go. Wait! I'm not going anywhere until you tell me what's happening here! Mama? Barbara, what are you hiding? Isabel's out, that's all. Why'd you call that lawyer? If you don't want to come with me, don't. Oh, wait a minute, Barbara, wait! <sighs> I 
I don't believe that you don't know where Barbara is. You went to my house looking for her with my mama, so tell me where she is now! Let go of me! Let go! <clears throat> yes, senor. According to Article 38... Oh, something odd's happening. And it all has to do with Isabel Mendez and Barbara Solis. Hmm. Those two young women make me nervous as can be. Now that I think about it, you're right. First, Senorita Mendez said she was coming here and didn't. And now, Senorita Barbara Solis. Strange, no? Yes. Isabel should have arrived a long time ago. I really don't like this, Hiero. I do not like this one bit. Hmm. Please, somebody help me! Help me, please! Please, anybody help me! Oh, help me! Stop! Stop, Isabel! Stand up, I know you can hear me. I think that I asked you to come over to my house for some kind of social visit, Alvaro. <laughs> no, I thought not. Tell me, where is Sophia? I don't know. Are you sure? Yes, Annabelle took her. I haven't heard from her. What's going on? Look, get to the point. You didn't call me here just to talk about Sophia. So you're saying that you don't know that... That Barbara was sedated in the house? In your house? Of course I didn't. Sophia came to get her while I wasn't at home. She came with Isabel and some nurses and took her. I didn't know anything. It's bad for me, too, if Barbara talks. Look, Ernesto, do you realize what this could mean? We have to find Barbara no matter what. Annabelle? You talk to him? He went to Isabel's to try to get some information on... Barbara and Sophia. We have to act fast, at all costs. If Barbara tells what she knows, we'll be ruined. I told you to stop, Isabel. And, and you didn't. Mm -hmm. Look what happened to you. Look what happened. It's all your fault. No, not mine. No, no. You're responsible for what happened here. Biggest pile of puke I ever saw. Well, I want to get it installed by this afternoon, otherwise we're going to be in trouble. Let's get these brooms. Okay. Oh, call the supervisor about it, though. That's it, Augusto. Good. You're going to get up from this bed very soon, and you'll do it as a real champion. He's got good muscles, Tom. I've been doing his exercises often, and I noticed that there was a little rigidity in some of his movements, no? Yeah, that's a good sign. It just means that his muscles haven't atrophied. I'll come back tomorrow and check on him. Sure, thank you. Augusto, Sam, just open your eyes. Then you'll be out of this awful dream. Aye, a doctor. 
What happened? What is it? I thought Lisa was here. No, no, she's not. She's back at the house. The doctor is urgent. Well, you can tell me now. I can let her know if it's urgent. Well, Margarita is here. Oh, I know that she's had lots of problems, Doctor, but... But, but, but what? Well, Augusto's wife was just admitted. She's in premature labor. So I thought that I should really tell Lisa. After all, she's her sister-in-law, and she's having Augusto's child. That's right. Thank you. Uh, I'll tell her, okay? Excuse me, Doctor. I hope you didn't hear that, son. The last thing I would wish is for you to think of that woman. Let me tell you, the last person that I thought I would see in this office is you, Barbara. And this lady is? Her mother. My daughter insisted we come and see you. But Isabel should be here. I was waiting for her, but she never arrived. Barbara, why was she coming here? Well, she was bringing something over. What? So what was she bringing? I asked her to talk to this lawyer. She sent Iago's lawyer, and I, I needed her to... The truth, Barbara! What's going on here? Mama, she was bringing the pipe that Annabel used to hit Santiago. Barbara! Barbara, you can't do that to him! Mama, understand me, please. I, I, I had to do it. But, dear, he's your brother. You said you wouldn't tell anybody. No, I didn't. I promised nothing. Oh, yes, but I thought you understood that you couldn't do that to him. Barbara, he's your brother. So how can you just turn him in like that? Look, look, Signora, don't pay attention. The problem is that my daughter is taking a lot of drugs. Signora, I think that your daughter is doing the correct thing. Mama, this is better for Annabelle. Please understand that if we don't stop him, he's capable of anything. That's a lie. That's a lie. He's not a criminal. He's not. He's just confused. It's all his father's fault. It's his father, not my son. It's not his fault. Promise me, Barbara, that you won't do it to him. Promise me that you won't do it. Please don't turn him in, Barbara. Please don't. <laughs> How is he, Doctor? Oh, getting better by the minute. Mm. Did he wake up? No, no, but we did a test with a neurologist uh, to confirm that he could hear, and he squeezed my hand like he did to you. <laughs> That's great. That made you happy, right? Oh, well, I just couldn't believe it. Of course, that clearly indicates to us that Augusto is aware at certain times, and he can hear us. Well, it moves me a lot to see what this means to you. How about Sylvia? Uh, uh, did you tell her he's doing better? No. No, uh, I couldn't. She had another crisis. Oh, tell me what happened. She, uh, has some fixation. She believes things that aren't true. Doctor! Why didn't you ever tell me what happened to your children? How... how did you lose them? Because you've shown great interest in coming back to school, we've decided to give you the chance to study again. <sighs> really, Senora? Thanks, you won't regret it, I swear. Why don't you want to tell me what happened, Doctor? Every time I ask you, you avoid the conversation. I already told you, it's a very painful part of my life. I know, and I'm really sorry, but... I've told you things that are painful as well. Yes, my child. My child? You realize? You called me your child? That means something, no? What are you getting at? You know what I'm getting at. Lisa... What's going on in your head, huh? If you love me like a father, why don't you 
Just trust me and tell me what happened to them. And I will. I promise you that I'll tell you. When Augusto gets better, then we'll talk. There's more to deal with. What do you mean? Margarita. Uh, Annabelle told me that she's been admitted here. Apparently she's in labor now. Oh, Isabel. God, I... I don't know how many messages I've left. Just call me. I'm with Senora Perez Rivas. Answering machine. You have to excuse me. I can't stay here. I'm going. Where to? Dunno, Mama, the streets, anywhere. Isabel must be somewhere. Estoy muriendo, muriendo por oh, I'm gonna die. Somebody knock me out. Lisa. <laughs> Did they tell you? How is she? Well, Margarita's having lots of trouble. Let's get out of here. You, you can't do anything anyway, so let's get a coffee. No, you don't understand, Ruby. It's not for Margarita. That child is also Santiago's. Senora Sofia, I'm sorry, but you don't understand. Oh, of course I do. I do understand. The only one who cares about Annabelle is me. Because you've become his enemy, Barbara. It's not what you think, Mama. I don't feel like arguing now, okay? Don't you realize what's going of on? Of course I realize. I realize perfectly what's going on. Oh, enough, Mama. I'm your daughter, too, and I'm suffering as well. Barbara, wait, Barbara, come back here. Please Barbara, let her go. wait for me. Please. Barbara! Hey, man. Here. Hamburger. Well, why'd you bother, Thomas? Because you don't like the food here. This way, you can eat. Well, thanks, pal. That's cool. I took the television home. And my wife's happy because our one is broken. Great. What's that? Photo? It's a baby. I've seen these photos. They're taken in the mother's womb, right? Who's baby? Um, it's mine. Barbara! Are you deaf? Look, you have to listen! Just try and understand! I understand what you're saying, Mama. You're insisting I close my eyes. If it's to protect my son, then I'll never open them again! I hope you don't regret it. But I won't regret it! All you ever care about is Santiago! You want to sacrifice your brother because of him! And you are going to regret it! You're going to regret it, Barbara! Barbara, stop right there! Barbara, wait, Barbara! He's a Barbara! Bell! Barbara! Ramirez's testimony complicates our case. We're in trouble here. Annabelle, did you find her? No, no. Annabelle! Later, Papa. Excuse me. Annabelle! Oh, my God, what happened? Annabelle, wake up! She's dead! Oh, God, I can't believe it! Barbara, how did this happen? Isabel, no! Barbara, don't get blood on you. Isabel, Put her back wake down. Up. Doctor. Oh. Where's the other one? They just sent me, Doctor. 
Oh, hurry up! I can't take this! You'll assist me with the delivery. I hope you behave yourself. Come on. Doctor! Doctor! Get this thing out of me! Get it out! Hold on, be firm, Margarita. This is gonna be over soon. Now just hold on. Hey, Doctor! What is, what is just broken? Cheer up, Margarita. We're almost there. Take a deep breath. Just breathe get this deeply. God-awful thing out of me. I'm begging you. Deep breath. Oh, 15 minutes. I've missed Mama. you, my dear. I miss your hug so much. Oh, my dear, you won't have to wait in here for my visits anymore, sweetheart, because soon you're going to be out of here. Mama, don't have false hopes. Not at all. They're not false hopes. I found out that Ramirez's testimony totally destroyed Solis's accusations, and he has nothing left now. I, your lawyer is very optimistic. Well, anyway, my life is still a shambles. And all that pain and sadness has Lisa's name on it, isn't that right? It was hard for me, too, to see her there in the courtroom. Contributing to Solis's awful intentions. But she was defending her brother. It's okay, my dear. It's not her fault. Uh, I think that what she did was a very good thing. But understand me, my dear. I only care about you. I don't think it's fair to be sad. Oh, and tell me what exactly is fair in this world. What's fair, Mama? I wish this anguish was just because of Lisa. What is it then, dear? Talk to me, please, talk to me. Well, um, there's someone else, someone to whom I owe explanations. But who do you have to explain to? I... Well, I saw my child today. Saw your child? Yes, in one of those videos that... that are taken by ultrasound. <gasps> I saw it all. Its legs and... Its hands were moving and the sound of his heart was so... clear and strong that I can still hear it. Commissioner, Senorita Mendes called me. She was coming to my office. And then I started worrying because she never arrived here. Senora, things indicate that this was an accident. She fell in the stairway. She hit her head, and unfortunately, she's dead. You know what I think? I'm not exactly sure that this was an accident. But why? The elevators always work in this building. I don't understand what this girl was doing on this floor in the stairwell. Excuse me. Are you two related to the deceased? Isabel was a good friend. Of the family. I asked Isabel to come here. No, she's dead. It's my fault. No, it's not your fault. What happened has nothing to do with you. Excuse me, Commissioner. Here's the victim's wallet. It has money and all her documents. There's no sign of robbery, though. Okay, just put it with the rest. Hmm. Yeah. Commissioner, there's no indication of robbery. But the death of Isabel Mendez is strange. To me, this was no accident. Excuse me, Commissioner. I found this shoe which I think belongs to the victim. Miss your friends? Mm. Fine, put it with all the other evidence. Where are forensics? Already here. Excuse me, Senores. Mama, I don't know what I feel. I feel like crying, like screaming. Mama, what I feel now is great anger. No, 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 Santiago, please, no. Yes, Mama, anger. And it's not because of Margarita, or the baby either, but at myself. Because of me, a child is coming into this world to expect what? Hmm? To expect what? Is it expecting to have an insane mother? Or a father that rejected him? 
Please, Santiago, don't do this now. What do you mean, Mama? I'm hurting that child before it is even being born. Don't you realize that? <sighs> it's my child, Mama. It's part of me. Mama, I, I want to ask you a very serious question. Will you love this child, too? <sighs> <clears throat> Isabel. Stand up, I know you can hear me. should be full of happiness and love. This poor child is coming, and nobody wants it. Oh, help me! Ah! What is it, Carmen? Margarita, Lisa, they ordered me to assist, but I can't be there. What do you mean, go back in there? No, Lisa, that woman's losing too much blood, and if I go back in there, I'll faint. You're going to do it. You're the only available nurse, OK? Wait, Lisa, the doctor went to get the anesthesiologist. I couldn't take it, so I left her there alone. Are you completely crazy? Lisa, you have to do it, please. You have no, I can't. I don't even work at this clinic now. Lisa, you have to help the doctor. Please help. Carmen, please get over it and go Wait, back Lisa, in please. there. You worked in the delivery room before working with Dr. Contreras, right? Please, you're the only one. The only one that can save that baby's life right now. How could you leave Sylvia? She's with Bibi at home. With, with Bibi, right? No, Sylvia's not home. What? When she woke up, somebody called her, and she left without saying anything. But, but, but what happened to her? Listen, Lisa was here. She's worried about Sylvia. She asked a lot of questions. What questions, honey? About my children. Tell me, what happened with Sylvia? Well, Sylvia was very upset. She said that she knows you're her father. Lisa, what are you doing? There's an emergency in delivery. Yeah, I saw Carmen. She told me, but what are you doing? What I've always done. That's why I'm a nurse. But you don't work here now. Besides, the doctor won't let you. I don't think that he would care more about the rules of the clinic than saving someone's life. Ah, uh, how cute. And it had to be you, right? You just had to take this risk for Margarita? And for Santiago. And for all the people who need help, Ruby. Wash your hands, please. Lisa, this is crazy. It's totally crazy. Besides, if Super finds out, he'll... He'll what? Fire me? Oh, my gosh. But when I tell this, no one will believe it. Margarita's the luckiest woman on Earth because she's just completely messed up your life, and what do you do for her? You try to save her sad life. Uh, Ruby, an emergency. Uh, uh, Help me with this quickly. Uh, doctor, doctor, please give me the anesthetic. I can't take any more. I can't. Get ready, senora. Be patient. And how am I supposed to be patient if this child is killing me? Ah! Uh, 
How's it coming? She's dilating. Where on earth is Nurse Carmen? I'm ready, Doctor. What's all this about? Carmen won't come in, Doctor. There's no one to replace her. Well, let's get to work. <laughs> Just like old times. Hope you're ready. Take your place. Right. I just don't know what went through Sylvia's mind for her to finally associate the memories of her father, as old as they are, with you, dear, but she did. And the poor soul is lost. She keeps insisting that the only reason you care about them so much is because you're their father, although Lisa said you're not, and that you act like this because you lost your children. <sighs> but she still insists. She said she remembered some words you once told her. And she put it all together. <sighs> Lisa. Well, she says this is part of what they're going through. That Sylvia can't confront so much pain and loss. No, 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 no. Sylvia has always had that feeling. Something about me bothered her. And now she knows. What are you planning to do? You ready to proceed? Ready, Doctor. Perfect. Let's put her in position. Come on. All right, take it easy. Take it easy. Just relax. A little longer, Margarita, all right? Just try not to move around at all, okay? Begin. Now, Margarita, just inhale and hold your breath until I tell you, okay? Yes, okay. Just hurry up, please. Let's go. Now. Now. What's wrong? The needle won't go in. Try again, then. Come on, come on. Again, Margarita, inhale. It hurts. Now, breathe. No. No, 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 no. It won't it go in, Doctor. It There's an obstruction. I can't get to the birth canal. All right. Uh, we can't hold her. The baby's coming. dream. Yeah, yeah, it was just a dream. <sighs> Joey didn't call. And she's not at the clinic. Dear, she must be very confused. Imagine everything that's happened, especially recognizing you. Now I understand her sudden interest in my family and about my lost children. Mm. You should have heard her. She's just so convinced. She assembled the whole puzzle by herself. Without mistakes, dear. She figured the whole thing out. She even made Lisa doubt. Lisa thought that her sister had gone crazy. Sylvia's so very close to the truth. Sylvia has always doubted me with her rejection and fear towards me. Oh, my love. She asked a lot of questions. Mm, and she'll keep doing it. She won't rest until it comes out. And it will. What do I do? Hmm? How do I look her in the eyes and say, it's not true, Sylvia? Oh. 
Why'd this have to happen to me? Why was I the first to receive your child, Santiago? Your child. Don't say anything. I spoke to the doctor and... And he said to me that you behave like a... A real doctor from the top of your head down to your toes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, really. my dear friend. So what's that, huh? You want the humanitarian award? Mm. I just did what I had to do. <sighs> well, let me confess to you, Lisa, that, well, my ulcer almost exploded just knowing you were in the delivery room helping to save the life of that awful snake. Ruby, please. Not now. <sighs> well, okay. All right, then. I won't say anything else now. Because after all, I'm just very proud to be friends with a superhero like you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a hero, Ruby. I'm just an... an idiot. A sentimental little girl. That's it. I prayed to God to save her. <laughs> well, that's great. I'm sure that it helped her, too. I'd do the same. But I would pray for her to be severely punished for everything she's done to your family. <sighs> it's not important, Ruby. Hatred is so absurd. Life is more than that, Ruby. You're talking about the baby. Look, I went to the nursery and I asked about his condition. He's still quite delicate, but they told me that there's hope. He's like Santiago, but so little, so perfect, so defenseless. It's funny, no? That baby was born into your arms, and, well, you were the first person that he saw. He's Santiago's. The child that I should have had, Ruby. <sighs> Perdona si te estoy llamando en este momento Pero me hacía falta escuchar de nuevo Aunque sea un instante tu respiración Disculpa, sé que estoy violando nuestro juramento Sé que estás con alguien que no es el momento Pero hay algo que You're in good hands here. Fine, Doctor, just give me something. Give me something for this pain. Listen, take it easy. Has your water broken? I don't no, know. No, Doctor, I, it hasn't broken. Uh, Thank you, has she? Stop it. Just give me something, Doctor. Give me a painkiller because I'm exploding from all this pain. Excuse her, Doctor. She's just nervous and very scared. Listen, don't worry about it. How long has she had these contractions? I don't know exactly. I found her like this, so I brought her straight here. Annabelle, prepare the delivery room. Marguerite is having this baby. Doctor. Anyway, doctor. She was being treated by another doctor in this clinic, but she wasn't expecting to have the baby so soon. Are you sure? I treated her before. Pretty sure. I'll go and get her doctor, okay? Okay, thanks. Oh, Mara, help me, please help me. Perdona si te estoy llamando en este momento, pero me hacía falta escuchar de nuevo, aunque sea un instante. This doesn't make sense, Sylvia. You're an extremely rational woman. You can't possibly believe that absurd story, for God's sake. I believe it because I feel it. Jaime Contreras has no reason to be doing this for us. Can't you accept that he's doing it because he's a good man? Everybody. Everybody's generous, Lisa. Charity's done for one day. That's all. Then it's back to normal. That man is being hurt by us. Don't you understand that? Sylvia, stop! That's enough, okay? Yes. Go on, what ask her! What is it? What are you talking about? She has to know the truth. Tell her, come on, you tell her. I don't get you. Uh, she's very sensitive. Excuse her, Signor Delia. She, uh... She thinks that Dr. Contreras worries about... about the four of us because... Uh, because he's our father in another city. He was destroyed. All alone. 
and very sick. What do you have? Alcohol destroyed him. When he arrived at the center, he didn't know his name. What happened? I approached him and saw great pain in his eyes. I felt like he was begging me to save him from the dark. So I dedicated myself to him and fell in love. And when Jaime recovered, I tried to make a life with him. Without a past, without questions. Did he ever talk about his past life? Just that he'd lost everything. Losing his children drove him to insanity. Ready, doctor. Did you verify his rate of respiration? Yes, it's well within limits, Doctor. Oh, that's good, Ruby. He'll be breathing normally in no time. I great, Doctor. I get so scared when he stops breathing. Periods of 30 seconds, but that's normal in a person with brain inflammation. So if God is good to us, then he'll wake up at any minute, right? Then the real work begins because that's when we'll know if there's been any serious brain damage. Do you mean there's a possibility his recovery won't be total? Well, we can hope, no? We just need patience. Is... Come on, Delia. Well, is it true that Dr. Contreras had children? Uh, yes, he had children. I never met them. And does that mean that you don't know who they are? I didn't know about them for some time. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen photos? No. Do you know what happened to them? Sylvia, come on. That's none of your business. You have no right to, to ask Delia something like that. No, it's okay. It's okay, Lisa. Let her ask. If Sylvia wants to know about my husband, I'll tell her everything. Take a seat. I first met Jaime at a center for mentally ill people. 